No, no, I never bring men to pregnant them. They come on their own. I never. They come on their own. How many women you get? Only these six of them. Before now, how many you get for? Only these six. I never get back like this. Chai! Wonders shall never end. So basically what this woman does is she owns a baby factory in Portacourt. And what she does is that she gathers some girls who got pregnant out of wedlock. Girls who don't know how to handle the shame of being pregnant, the shame of giving out, giving birth. She pick them up, house them, take proper care of them till they give birth. Now, she already have some customers who have contracted her to get a baby for them. So when these girls give birth, she will give out this baby to them. According to her, she's not selling this baby to a ritualist. She said that she's, selling the, she's giving out the baby to those who are in need of child. To those who need baby. And she said that she's not selling the baby to them. But they willingly give her some. Give her 1.4 million. Some give her 1.5 million. Some give her more than that just to show appreciation. Now, one of the victims, one of the girls who is currently six months pregnant, according to her, she got the pregnant. She got pregnant when she was living in the north. Her boyfriend got her pregnant. And when she traveled out of the north, two months later, she found out that she's already pregnant. And she told her mom and her sister that she wants to go back to the north to inform her boyfriend. And her mom told her not to go back, except she wants to suffer. Maybe probably, maybe the boyfriend is not where to do. Now, they told her that she should go to this woman now to traffic the baby, to do child trafficking. Now, she was already with the woman, already six months before they were caught. Another woman who has already bought a baby from, the, from this particular woman was also arrested. Now, she claimed that she bought this baby from this woman over six years ago. And since then, she stopped. She have not involved herself in that kind of business again. I want you guys to watch this video. This story is too long. I want you guys to watch the video and then you let me know what you think in the comment section. Thank you. No, no, I never bring men to pregnant them. They come on their own. I never. They come on their own. How many women you get for? Only these six of them. Before now, how many you get for? Only these six. I never get back like this. How much? How much did they say the baby? I know they say I just they give them for those who no one no get. One four. One point four million. For one. Where is it? Where is it located? Your baby factory. At Allo. You say 1.4, that 1.4 is for a boy or a girl? It's for a girl. A boy is 1.5. Now, the girls themselves, the women themselves, how much do you pay them? It depends the price where they come and the month. Explain, explain, explain. Explain well. Say it depends on the time. If you are welcome to do, I will give her like 800, 900. If now from five months I give six hundred, say six fifty. If not three months I pay three fifty, four hundred. So why did you cry, Madam? I never did bad. I never give ritual before. I never give ritual before. And people when no get let they give. So this lady called me. They came and arrested me over child trafficking. So she accused that she has given me a pregnant woman, which I accepted. She gave me one. That was about six years ago. Yes. So when she gave me this lady, I now gave it out to somebody. The, the woman that I gave it out to gave me 30,000. That was all that I know about the incident. You say you gave her out? A pregnant mother out to a, a woman that has maternity. So, and the woman now gave me 30,000. She now. What, what is the thirty thousand for? It's just like giving her work, giving her market, giving her market. Giving her uh -huh. market. Are you selling them to her? Are you married? I'm married now. 
Yes. I understand your husband is a pastor, is that true? Yes. So is he aware of this kind of business that you are doing? He is not. So how do you handle it at home? I've not I see I, she gave me that one. That was the end. A policeman advised me because there was an incident that happened. That policeman I opened up and told him. He advised me this was about six years ago. So since then I don't even have this woman contact. She has not even seen me again since that time. So I don't do anything like that again. So me I was surprised as they came yesterday and called me. My name is Blessing Joseph. I'm from Akwaibam State. I'm 21 years old. So, how are you here? Like, why are you here? How did you come to find yourself here? Okay. The, this woman husband is my friend, so he brought me to her. They told me that uh, um, they will take care of me, that I will deliver the baby and sell it. They will give me my own money and take their own, then I can go. How much, did they, how much was your agreement, the money they were supposed to pay you? It's 250 because it's a boy. It was a girl. How much would it have been? 200 So they were going to pay you... They say it again, like two fifty what? Two fifty thousand. <laughs> I can make sure my sis, my sister, my senior one sister. Yeah, what happened? <laughs> when I was pregnant, I, when I was, I came when I came back from Plata State, I have a boyfriend, so. He pregnant me. I never knew I was pregnant. So he find that my sister sister find that I was pregnant. She took me to scan I was two months and so she told I told I told my sister and my mom that I want to go meet my guy. I want to tell him that I'm pregnant for him. So after all even my guy know that noticed some things in me. Then my mom told me my mom my mom told me that I should not I should not go meet the guy if I don't want to suffer. I should just, I should just go and do child trafficking. I told my mom I've never do before. I've never. I don't want to go. I don't want any problem in my life. Only God can bear me witness. I've never done anything before. It was my sister, my mom that brought me. I never knew that this is going to end like this. Okay, your mom was the one that brought you to this woman. It was my sister that brought me here, yes. Okay. And my mom, my mom is in support of that. Okay. And my dad did not know. Okay. Your father is not aware? My father is not aware, that is my fear. So, is your mom aware that the police are holding you now? She did not know. She does not know. Where is your mother? My mom is in Atlanta. When, when, when they brought you, what did they tell you that you were coming to do? <laughs> they told me, like, I was the one that asked the question that what am I doing here to say straight trafficking. I said, how does child trafficking look like? They said that I will bomb the baby and then I sell the baby out. I said, I don't understand that. Like, they told me that if I bomb the baby finish, I will not see the baby eye and, and they will pay me. I said, pay me, like, how much? I mean, I'm not the kind of person that like money. I don't like money. I don't. That's how I know that this is such a freaking. How much did they say they will give you? They have not. They have not talked about the price. When did you go there? I will not lie. I swear to God, I went there since January. Okay, January this year. Yes. How old is your pregnancy? Six. Six months. Yes. So there was no agreement of payments for you. They have not yet asked told me anything. They have not met me yet. But your boyfriend does not know you are pregnant for her, for him. He does not know that he's on All right. Thank you.